Well, schools around the country are scrambling to keep students from using a chat bot to do their homework. One educator calls it a calculator for writing essays. Jamie Tucker shows us how it works. A chat GPT is short for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. It's a machine learning model that uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text. It has the ability to complete a given prompt or answer questions, making it a powerful tool for tasks such as language translation, conversation simulation, and text summarization. How good is it? Everything I just said was not written by me, but by this bot called ChatGPT. I just entered create a television news report about ChatGPT. That's the worry for educators. ChatGPT sounds so much like a real human, it's hard to know if a student really wrote the paper or just entered a prompt. I tried several things, asking it to write a 500-word essay on Abraham Lincoln, which it immediately did in just a matter of seconds. I entered write a country song, which it did with verses, a chorus, and a bridge. It wrote a 200-word explanation on artificial intelligence in French and even created an essay on President Ronald Reagan and included citations. Of course, it isn't just for cheating in school. It can come up with lesson plans, write resume cover letters, carry on a conversation about anything. ChatGPT is a website, and in the past few months, developers have flooded the app stores with apps that require paid subscriptions. These are not from the ChatGPT developer. And it's quite difficult to use the website sometimes because so many people around the world are asking it to do things. It is pretty fun to use and amazing. Another example of how it's getting more difficult to determine whether something is human intelligence or artificial intelligence. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.